How you doing? Hey, how are you? What do you have here? I brought you Bob Hope, his original comic from 1950. Hey, Rick. What? Check this out. It's a Bob Hope comic book. Oh, that's pretty cool. Do you know who Bob Hope is? The Price is Right. No, that's Bob Barker. This is Bob Hope. Different old Bob. You know, Bob Hope and Bing Crosby, like Jerry Lewis and Dean Martin. Who? Like Harold and Kumar. OK. All right, OK. <laughs> Bob Hope, he was a pretty amazing guy. He entertained troops in World War II, Korea, Vietnam. He was the only honorary veteran in the United States because he did so much stuff for the USO. Lived to be 100 years old. 100? Yep. And when he was in a movie, it made money. He was so popular, he had his own comic book. Sweet. Bob Hope was an absolute Hollywood legend. He was in over 70 films, and he hosted the Academy Awards 19 times. I'm just afraid anyone under the age of 50 doesn't really know who he is. So, um, where did you get this? I actually got this on an online auction. Okay, well, it looks in relatively good shape. I assume you want to sell it? Yes. How much you want for it? I, I believe it might be worth about $500. I don't know how collectible Bob Hope is, to tell you the truth. I just have no idea what the demand would be for this. Due to the fact that it's not an action hero, it's Bob Hope. It's a little uh, weird. Yeah. Okay. Do you mind if I have someone look at it? That'd be great. I have a friend in town. Yeah, he grades comics for a living. He knows what he's doing. I'll be right back. I'll give him a call, and um, we'll go from there. Great. Right. I'm glad an expert's coming in to look at the comic just to be sure that it's all there and to get their opinion on the grade. Ah, a Bob Hope number one. I mean, the, the whole weird thing is that it's Bob Hope. It's not like he's a superhero. Yeah, in the 50s, superheroes were going down. They, they weren't as popular, and so what DC started to do is license celebrities. They did stories in here that would relate to some of the movies coming out, so they kind of did some cross-marketing there. Okay. The Bob Hope comic ran from issue one from 1950 all the way to 1968. I mean, 18 years for, for a continual run on a comic is pretty great. So what's the grade on this thing? All right, well... Looks pretty nice. It's got a few creases. Tear along the spine there. Doesn't look restored at all. A little bit of tanning, the chip out at the top right. You know, I think CGC would give it about a 6.0. The big question is, what's it worth? That would put a certified 6.0 price at around $600. That's the price, but are they easy to sell? I mean, most people my age, we, we know Bob Barker more than we know Bob Hope. Told you. So you're calling me old? No, you are old. I'm just stating a fact. <laughs> anyway, I think at $600, you can't go wrong. OK. Thanks, man. I really appreciate you it. You got it, Rick. Anytime. All right. Good to see you again. See you next time. Take care. People love first issues. Issue ones always are collectible. How fast Rick will sell it, I really can't say. I know he gets a lot of foot traffic through the shop, and, and I think he should be able to move it. So what's your best price of this? Well, if it's worth six and I'm only asking five, I hope that's a great deal for Bob. I think Bob would say the price is going to have to be right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, your problem here is it's Bob Hope. I mean, unless you're over 50, no one really knows who Bob Hope is anymore. I think it's going to be a tough sell. I'll give you 300 bucks for it. How about $400? I'll give you $325, and I won't go a penny more. I mean, it literally is it. Congratulations. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> the price is right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go write it up. I believe it was a win-win for that particular price. I'm going to give the money to my wife, and I have no idea what the hell she's going to do with it. <laughs> what are you laughing at? This is Bob Hope comic. Bob Hope comic book. Hey, you know Bob Hope. It's like did New Year's Eve for like years and years and years. He's got the airport named after him in California. That was Dick Clark's Rocking Eve. It's not Dick Clark International Airport. I know, it's Bob Hope International Airport. Never mind. I'm just telling you, those old comedians have nothing on the new wave of comedians. Why is it that all you guys ever want to do is argue with me? You're always saying I refuse to learn anything. I learned that Bob Hope and Dick Clark aren't the same person. No kidding. Maybe you'll grow a brain one day. 
coming from the guy reading comics. Old Bob Hope comics. 